Hi everyone, it's Robin. I just wanted to um, share with you the card that I made for Jade's fundraiser for Claudia. And Jade, I just wanted to say a huge thank you uh, from from me personally. I just really, truly do appreciate you doing that because um, you know I know it's going to mean a lot to Claudia. It's going to be a big encouragement to her in many ways, but it's an encouragement to all of us out there that want to do something uh, extra for her. So. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for that and um, to let you know that uh, my cards are going to be on the way on Monday. Um, I don't know how long it takes to come you know, from Europe to, um, to your P.O. box, but uh, anyway, this is what I came up with. I think about a week, but uh, this is the card I came up with. My girls wanted to help as well, my two daughters. So my eldest daughter, who is Kendall's Creations here on YouTube, she, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, calm down now. Um, it's just I'm just so touched by this um, this fundraiser, Jade. I really appreciate it. Uh, but my eldest daughter, Kendall's Creations, made all the bows, and my youngest daughter, who's 11, she put all the stamp and dimensionals, the the foam 3D dots on the back of everything. So uh, they just wanted to just do a little something to to have a part. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken one of the stamps from iBreakForStamps.com. It's from the travel full sheet and I've gold embossed that and then this the three little words uh, stamp is from Stampin' Up! it's one piece I just kinda broke it up and then on the inside it says keep in touch so this would be like a friendship type card and so uh, anyway that's what I've that's what I've made and um, I got all my ten done so like I said they'll be out in the mail to you on Monday so uh, but before I go I wanted to share something that I um, just a couple, just a tip. I guess a couple tips. Okay, if you have this uh, Baroque die by Tim Holtz, uh, there's supposed to be. Well, there is a little insert piece that will prevent your cardstock or your paper from getting jammed down in there. If you call Sizzix.com, they'll send it to you for free. But a lot of people know about it, and so they are backlogged on it. In fact, I'm still waiting on mine from when we were in the States, and that's been over a month ago. It might be at my parents' house now. I don't know which is our stateside address. But anyway, I've come up with something to get me through in the meantime. Uh, these little foam pieces that you get with your brads from, I, I know that Hobby Lobby, because that's where I got these, uh, but the brads from Hobby Lobby come, you know, some of the nicer ones come with these where they're just embedded in this foam sheet. If you stick those in there, and you know you use it that way it works perfectly and even with you know the smaller ones I've done the same way and I've not had any troubles at all with um, my paper sticking okay so that's tip number one I guess <laughs> and tip number two um, if I'm gonna just show you how you can get another use out of your die maybe this has already been discovered I don't know I just was playing around one day and um, you know, I came up with it or found out or whatever. I, I tried it for the first time and, and I was pleased with it. So um, anyway, just excuse the bouncing. I could have ran it through, you know, before the video, but I wanted you to see, you know, kind of the foam in action <laughs> tip. And so um, I just take this off. And you just, I just kind of stick my finger in there and it pops up my paper or, or you know, my cardstock. So I don't have any troubles with that. And then what you can do, you can, of course, use it like this. It's wonderful. But if you set it in there kind of sideways, try and even it out to where it's, you know, it's the, the width is even on there. And then run it through again. You get like a medallion or just like another shape that you can use for matting photos or, you know, matting your stamped images. So let me share that. So, anyway, just a little bit of fun, and I hope that that's been helpful to somebody. Just another use for, you know, something um, that we, we already have. It's always fun to find new uses for things. So, anyway, I hope that that's been helpful to you. And, Jade, thank you again for uh, the fundraiser for Claudia. And, and, Claudia, if you happen to be watching this, um, I just wanted to just say I love you. So, thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye-bye.